So good morning everybody. It is not even 6 a.m. I absolutely cannot sleep by myself. And that's fine. Um um considering it is 6 a.m that's just like so early that's like uh, there's no reason for me to wake up at this time um so what i think i'm gonna do oh that lighting is really not good what i think i'm gonna do is um stay up for probably like up until maybe like six o'clock like actually exactly six and then try to go back to bed for like two hours that would be iconic it's not gonna happen i don't think um and i'm okay with waking up at like eight o'clock i just don't want to be awake right now like this is depressing yeah so it's like six 20 now and I was like I'll be asleep by 6 well now I'm filming a TikTok because I feel like it's going to be funny but I don't know the words at all so I'm going to have to like literally like keep redoing this okay I feel like that's fine it's like TikTok there's days where I feel like I know it all and then I want to do it with like other captions like what should I do the first one I said was like what did I say I was talking about ta this is me when I do taxes what else should I say it's 6 50 a.m. and I've accepted uh, can't speak. I've accepted I'm not going back to bed so let's just get ready okay never know like so fucking gross. <laughs> like, I have fucking lice. Hello? Speaking of lice, I remember being in like, uh, like second grade. And I remember like in like elementary school, we got like lice checks all the time. Okay, actually, I don't know if every little like elementary school did that. My elementary school did that. But I've heard other people's elementary school did not do that. But basically, oh yeah, also this is the toothpaste I've been using. No one fucking asks. But, okay. Oh shit. I like wanted to make this part like more aesthetic and like vibey, but it's not. But like I love like these. Like it just goes on so easily. The Cincinnati and Pronamel. Like these. Oh, they go on so easily. Anyways. We had to get lice checks when we were younger in like elementary school, I guess because like, maybe because like there was a lice outbreak, I don't know. It was just like a fucking, I was like, I was a trickster when I was a kid and I remember like, everyone was so scared and like they were like popular girls and I was like, they were like laughing or whatever and I was like, what's funny, I have lice. And they were like, what? And I was like, girl, I got lice. And they're like, what? And I'm not explaining exactly how it happened, but basically I told these fucking little girls that I had lice. And obviously I was joking and I looked over at like my best friend and I was like, here you go girl, itchy, 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 itchy. And I like gave it to her and they literally called the principal on me. So anyways, I'm gonna brush my teeth. Okay, aesthetic time stuff. My hair looks so good up. Stop, like literally stop. <laughs> teeth clean guess what i'm gonna do now y'all it's fucking 657 guess where i'm going guess keep guessing guys because i'm almost there guess guess oh would you look at that oh fuck <laughs> i'm gonna take a bath because the fuck? Why wouldn't I? Do y'all hear the birds chirping? Hi, Queen. Are you the cutest little monster to suffer existed? Ba 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 ba. 
go to the store need coffee and avocados to make some avocado toast so let's go i can't believe it rained no i literally washed my car yesterday it looks so good and it freaking rained and now it looks disgusting and there's watermarks on it but you know it's 7 30 in the morning it's 7 in the morning wait, 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 what the, how does that audio go it's 7 30 in the morning i don't know what it was anyways um yeah let's go to the store so i've secured the bag i will I don't know if it's just me because I'm like the most anxious person that ever walked this planet or something, but um I think it is so embarrassing to go to like the like produce section of a store and like pick out produce in front of the produce workers there. Like it's so embarrassing. I feel like they're like Ugh, dumbass like doesn't know the right fruit or, or the right avocado to pick up and it's so embarrassing even though I know that's not true because I used to work in a grocery store and I know that that's like never the case but it's fucking funny kind of anyways let's go home and make breakfast I understand right now it hurts so fucking much um yeah. why does this I fucking hate myself so I'm in the middle of I'm making my breakfast, but I did finish like half a cup of water before deciding to make my coffee. You guys know if you're avid vlog watchers, this is the coffee duo for me. I just got done listening to the new Call Her Daddy podcast. I don't really listen to that podcast anymore, to be honest, but. I did listen for the whole Nessa Jaden drama, even though I am a 21 year old woman. And um, what am I? What are my takeaways from it? Fuck Nessa. Yeah, yeah. So I'm watching Trisha's new video titled "Re Female Wrestling." I haven't watched the new frenemies yet, so I really don't know what the issue, like what happened, but I'm gonna watch this first, cause I don't know. This is easier com to commit to than the frenemies right now. By anything he says to me, and I was really just taking this as a moment to like, cause I thought- It's time to feed Paris. <laughs> Paris has not wanted to eat her food. I think what we need to start doing, cause, okay, the food, let's see, like, the food we were giving her before, she loved it. She would eat it. She's a lab, right? Like, labs are crazy about food. Well, she stopped being crazy about it, and she wouldn't eat it until she was, like, so starving. And we didn't understand why at the time. Now we realize, you know, she just needed a little switch. This bag of food that she has now, I've only, this is only her second bag having it, and she's already over it. So I think every time we get it, we just have to switch it up because she gets, she gets really sick of it. So she doesn't really like to eat it just plain. So what I've been doing for her is I'll get chicken stock or beef stock or whatever and I'll just make sure it's unsalted and I'll put some in her food, mix it in, and she eats it like, like no problem. Wait. So I'm back upstairs. It's 8.15. What I'm going to do so that my day goes better is clean the room. Cause it's messy. Let me show you some little, little screenshots. Take your screenshots, ladies. Dirty. Dirty clothes all over the floor. Dirty clothes there. So I need to clean. Look at all the nail polish I've collected within the past like X amount of months. Like this is a lot. I'm literally turning into my mother. But yeah, my nails. Um, they look. They look a little boofy. So I am going to take the nail polish off. I might repaint them right now. I might get too lazy, but I'm definitely just gonna take this polish off and cut my nails because they just look a little smelly. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna start my new book. It's called Sunrise on Half Moon Bay by Robin Carr. They're like number one New York Times bestseller. Literally every book says that, so I don't believe you. 
but I am going to start to read this book. So I'll let you know how it is, okay? I forgot what it's even about because I bought it a while ago when I was still reading another book. So let me like remind me, I'm gonna read the back and like be like, oh, this is good. Okay, I'm not gonna do this on camera because I like to read to myself aloud and that would be embarrassing. So, I got 30! Okay. Okay. Hello. So, after reading a chapter, I actually fell asleep. I just woke up. Unfortunately, I do have to leave for work pretty soon. So, luckily, I only work in the morning today. Or I only work like a lunch shift and then I have the rest of the day off. We're gonna work out later. I also wanna go to TJ Maxx later. Bargain Hunter, maybe Nordstrom Rack. But anyways, yeah, I do have to start getting ready for work. Uh, and yeah, I took a nap because I was tired. Is that okay? About to leave for work. I am leaving a little bit early. I always leave a little bit early for work because I like just like being able to like sit in my car for a couple more minutes when I get there like not go in right away but it's a quick shift I work like two hours two and a half hours and then we can get along with our day also I've got my coffee I never finished it earlier because my stomach was just starting to feel a little weird um but the coffee will help wake us up I just got off of work y'all want to hear me talk sh I need to stop saying y'all. You guys want to hear me talk shit? Because here we go. So, on our slower seasons at my work, for the lunch shift, um, usually we would only have one person, but we're kind of getting back into the tourist and the pandemic's kind of getting better. So, we have two people for lunch now because we do get, like, they're, not every day, obviously, it's a server. Like, it's different every day. But we're, like, there's been days where it's just so busy you need two servers and most I mean it's a small restaurant but most restaurants like always have at least two servers anyways um so yeah we were supposed to have two servers and my coworker literally never showed up uh never showed up I texted him like an hour after being late and his phone is dead and the most annoying part about this is this is literally such a pattern for him. He's pro this is probably his third or fourth time he's just no showed, and it's because like he's asleep or some shit. Like, can't freaking stand people like that. You are 23, 24 years old. Get it together. Like, get it together. This this is literally your job. You show up to your job. It's, it's literally so frustrating because you know who does that affect it doesn't affect anyone except for me or the other server that he's supposed to work with right it doesn't affect the chefs really it doesn't affect anyone else besides the servers and in a sense customers right because you're not if he's really busy you're not able to give every single customer the the service that they deserve because you're so busy right so it's just it's ridiculous it's annoying but anyways, so I'm at the beach right now to do my workout or whatever, but I like really don't want to go for a walk today. And it's literally just out of mere like I'm a lazy, I'm a lazy girl. I should like get up and do it though and just do it because I'm here. I probably will, but it's going to take me a little bit. All right guys, so I am back home now and I'm about to get in the shower. You guys, look what was delivered, our new mattress. So as I told you guys in a couple, a last vlog that we were ordering a new mattress, we got a king, we had a queen before, cause this one, this one takes up a lot of space. This one takes up a certain amount of space. So yeah, I'm excited to put that on. Um, I obviously can't do it by myself, but now I'm going to go to TJ Maxx. It'll probably be the last place I drive to today. I feel like I've driven across the state today. I feel like I've just driven so much and I kind of just want to 
chill after this but I'm going there with in mind maybe a new purse maybe some new perfume and maybe some like comfy loungewear I just love TJ Maxx oh also rings rings I want to look at rings um I just love TJ Maxx vibes quite frankly so quick tip before we get driving if you guys have a tough time drinking water like remembering and just like I don't know it's it's hard for me so what I'll do is I'll make sure I always have like some sort of cute water bottle glass or whatever to have on me and especially I make sure I have it when I'm in the car because what I'll do is like while I'm driving I will make it like a game almost where like every time I am at a stoplight I'll drink some sips of water and so I'm not like chugging it all at once but I'm like getting hydrated throughout the day so that's a good hack for you guys all right you guys so I just got out of TG Maxx also can we talk about how like productive I've been today like stop it um oh I will show you guys what I got I only got two things um okay first of all I could not find perfume I know they have it I couldn't find it and then I was also looking for rings, but they were like locked up in like the case and I was like, oh, I'm not doing that today. But I did get a purse, which is like the main thing I've wanted, been thinking about. So this is the purse that I got. Again, like I said, I'm not into name brands. I mean, if there is a bag that I like and it happens to be name brand, then you know, so be it. But most of the time I feel like I can find bags that I like by just like by like any brand um sorry some girl the inside of the bag is like pretty ugly though i didn't realize how ugly the inside of the bag was it was literally 20 dollars like bargain hunter but like look at the inside of the bag it's like this weird like i don't know kind of ugly but it doesn't matter the purse itself is nice it's just like a nice like structured not too big of a bag I'm not into like big purses I feel like you remember how I told you guys that my coworker didn't show up he said that the reason he didn't show up was because he had an allergic reaction just say you fucked up and move on like what a liar anyways um yeah so I don't like big bags as I was saying because I feel like the second you get a bigger bag you just start finding more useless stuff to throw in it not into that I've done it before I've made the mistake but yeah I just really wanted a structured bag basically is what my goal was and I did that so yeah that was the bag I got and then the last thing that I got was some new earrings um i get like the same looking earrings every single time i ever get them this is what they look like i usually go for like the biggest one or the middle one or even the little ones are really pretty too but yeah that's all i got i also she was like do you want to donate a dollar i'm i'm like girl i'm poor but sure 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 so Anyways, I'm going to go home now and probably just chill. So I'm back home now. Before I officially clock out for the day, we're going to go to my car and spray some of this on the brakes. Um, it's brake cleaner. It's supposed to remove dirt and dust from brake parts. And my brakes have been squeaking so badly. I don't know the exact words, but I got new like rotors or brake pads or I don't know both I don't know the exact word but they were like yeah you might have to spray it if they keep squeaking so we are going to go do that right now all right you guys it's later I know okay you guys never see me with makeup on I swear but I do I do wear makeup um so I've had such a productive day okay days like this just like low-key slap like ew. Um, I don't need to talk like that but they they make me feel the best so um, I just edited my being a DoorDash driver for a week that's being uploaded 
then I'm going to oh I filmed a that's why I put makeup on I filmed the what's in my purse I'm gonna f edit that upload it and then I'll start working on this vlog I have a lot a lot of footage to go through that I filmed just today and um, my computer runs out of storage very fast so I'd rather get like the quick videos up and uploaded so I can delete them and then so that I can actually like work on this video but yeah so I've done that um, first video is still uploading so while that's uploading I'm taking a break and I'm going to have some sandwiches I also took some selfies because I feel good today so yeah I'm gonna have my sandwich and like just chill time to do laundry it looks good. You're and I am so proud of myself so I currently have three videos that are ready to be posted. Just I can post them whenever I want. The thumbnails, everything's done. Um, I have one vlog. I have door dashing for a week. And I have a what's in my purse. I'm just like so happy. I think that I'm going to just end the vlog here. Because I think that's like a halt on my productivity today. I can't believe I got so much done i feel like we just literally lived forty thousand years together like today was such a good day i had such a productive day and it's just a and just a quick reminder before the end of the video that um not every day looks like this and not every day is going to be productive at all sometimes the most productive thing you do is go to work and that's very productive on its own so i don't want anyone to feel bad out there being like uh like i wasn't productive today blah 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 like she got so much done um every day is different every day is different and you guys see the days where i literally don't do shit I show that all the time but anyways i'm rambling at this point thank you guys so much this has been such a long day <laughs> yeah thank you guys so much for watching <laughs>